In this video, we are going to discuss rain umbrella problem from the chapter motion in a plane of 11th physics. So usually we get rain umbrella problem based on two different concepts. It can be based on relative velocity or resultant velocity. So when you get a question from rain umbrella concept, read the question carefully, understand the concept, I mean based on which concept the question is asked and then solve it. Okay, so we will discuss one example each from both of them and we will start with relative velocity, rain umbrella problem with relative velocity. Okay, let us come to the question. Rain is falling with a speed of 30 meter per second. A woman rides a bicycle with a speed of 10 meter per second in the east to west direction. What is the direction in which she should hold her umbrella? This is the question. So we can read the question once again. So we can you can understand here you are given two velocities. One is the velocity of the rain and the second one is velocity of another object which is a woman riding a bicycle in the, from east to west. Okay, so we are given two different velocities and usually we, we, we actually hold our umbrella just against the direction of velocity of rain usually. If rain is falling vertically downward, we have to hold our umbrella vertically upward, right? Yes, but when you move with respect to the rain, velocity of rain with respect to you will be something else, right? Direction of velocity of rain with respect to you will be in, in another direction. It is not no more vertically downward. So here we are going to consider velocity of rain with respect to something else. That is what I told you in the beginning, relative velocity, correct? So relative velocity of the rain with respect to the woman, we have to find out. Okay, how will we calculate relative velocity? We know relative velocity of two objects, as I told you before, suppose A and B, we can find out relative velocity as relative velocity of A with respect to B, suppose, it is going to be VA minus VB, correct? VA minus VB. And usually, how will we find it graphically? We will take those two vectors, VA and VB, and instead of subtracting VB from VA, we will add negative of vector B to A, right? We have triangular law of vector addition for this, and we can use that method to solve this question. Okay, suppose this is the vector A. Right, this is a vector A given here and vector B is given in some other direction. You can see here vector B and we need actually minus VB, I mean minus like uh, velocity of B. So if this is the direction of velocity of B, negative of B will be a vector of same magnitude but opposite in direction, correct? Same magnitude, opposite in direction. That is called what you can see on the screen now. Now, which are the two vectors we have to consider? One is vector A, second one is negative of vector B, right? Okay, so let us check how to find out that relative velocity then. See, this is the vector A. I have to take according to triangular law of vector addition, we have to take the first vector A, yes, with its magnitude and direction as shown in the, uh, uh, in the diagram. Now, second vector is minus VB, minus VB, minus VB is this vector, correct? So I have to take the tail of minus VB, that is minus b and I have to connect it to the head of a, head to tail method we know, right? Yes. So this is the way how we have to connect b, that is actually minus b. Then a vector drawn from the tail of a to the head of b represents a minus b, correct? This is what the way how we find out a minus b using triangular law of vector addition. Okay. Now this is used in the question to solve this rain umbrella question based on relative velocity, we are going to use a similar diagram here. So for that, let us go back to the question. Question says, rain is falling vertically downward. Yes, so you can see this is the raindrop which is falling vertically downward. Its velocity is given by Vr, right? And it is given here 30 meter per second is the speed as per the question. Okay, actually the woman according to the uh, question, woman rides the bicycle from east to west. Yes, then Vr minus Vw to find out that we need minus Vw, it is actually from west to east because Vw was from east to west. Okay, now what will be the relative velocity? Relative velocity is a vector from the head of the first one to the tail of the second and you can see that red vector represents relative velocity. 
of the rain with respect to the woman. Correct? V R minus P W. Okay. Now, when the rain was falling vertically downward, the, when the rain was falling vertically downward, he has to or she has to hold her umbrella vertically up as I told you in the beginning. Now, when she moves, rain is no more falling vertically downward for her. Relative velocity of the rain with respect to the woman moving on the bicycle is no more vertically downward. It is along the VR minus VW direction. Relative velocity of rain with respect to woman is something else now. Okay. So, then she has to tilt her umbrella accordingly. Correct. She has to tilt her umbrella from vertical against the direction of relative velocity. So, as you can see in the diagram, she tilt her umbrella by making an angle theta from vertical towards west. Right. Towards west. Okay. Now, we have to find exactly how much angle she has to tilt the umbrella. For that, now it is easy. We can just refer this triangle from which tan theta can be calculated. See, tan theta is going to be Vw by Vr. We will take the magnitudes of the velocities, Vw and Vr. Then we will substitute. We know Vw is given in the question. Velocity of the uh, woman is 10 meter per second and velocity of the rain is given as 30 meter per second. Okay. So then tan inverse, we will find out tan inverse to find the angle. Tan inverse of 0 0.33 is the and so we got and the corresponding angle is found to be 18.4 degree. So the woman has to tilt her umbrella. See when she rides the bicycle. So she has to tilt her umbrella by making an angle 18.4 degree towards west. Okay. Now the second type of question. Question based on another concept. Rain umbrella question based on resultant velocity. Okay. We will come to one question from that part also. Look at the question. Rain is falling vertically with a speed of 35 meter per second. Wind started blowing after some time with a speed of 10 meter per second in east to west direction. In which direction should a boy waiting at the bus stop hold his umbrella? See again an umbrella rain combination. But this time read the question carefully. You can see nobody is moving here. The man or, or the boy is standing at the bus stop. Rain is falling vertically downward. Okay, you are given two velocities, but one is velocity of the rain which is falling vertically downward and it is given as 35 meter per second. And which is the second velocity given? That is velocity of the wind and that is blowing from east to west. Okay, so the rain is falling vertically downward right now. After some time, wind start blowing. So, for a, for a raindrop, actually, because of the presence of the wind, right, there will be two velocities at the same time. Correct? One is the velocity of the rain itself, like, you know, falling vertically downward. At the same time, the wind will push the raindrop. You know, it will push the raindrop in the direction of the wind. Yes. So, there will be two velocities at the same time for given raindrop. We know when, when a particular body has two velocities at the same time, they are co two co-initial vectors. We have to go for the resultant vector, resultant velocity. Okay, that's the difference here. So, we are going to do this question based on resultant velocity concept. Okay, now, what do you mean by resultant of two vectors? Which we learned from parallelogram law of vectors. If you have two co-initial vectors A and B, which can be assumed as two adjacent sides of a parallelogram. Then, resultant of these two vectors, this is a parallelogram we have now, resultant of the two vectors is given by diagonal of the parallelogram starting from the common point. So, this is the resultant, that vector R stands for the resultant of the A, I mean the given vectors A and B. Okay, that is called parallelogram law of vectors. Okay, now this concept will be used in the question to find out resultant velocity of the rain. So, here also we know as I told you in the beginning, we have to hold the umbrella just against the velocity of the rain. Rain was falling vertically downward, right? Yes, when the wind start blowing from one side, velocity of the raindrop will be changed into some other direction. So, the boy has to adjust his direction of the umbrella, right, accordingly and we have to find out by what angle, in what direction. That is the question. Okay. Now, in the question, it is given that raindrop is falling vertically downward with a speed 35 meter per second. 
exactly same as the previous case. No difference. Okay, speed is some other value. Now, wind started blowing from east to west. Okay, this side is east and this is west. Right, so wind is blowing from east to west with a speed 10 meter per second. Velocity of the wind is also given. Now you can see both those velocities are for the same body, right, for the raindrop. And they are two co initial vectors. So you can imagine these two vectors as the adjacent sides of a parallelogram. Yes, so then let us complete the parallelogram. Now, how will you find the resultant direction of these two velocities? Resultant direction will be diagonal of the parallelogram. Yes, that red vector that represents resultant velocity of the raindrop. Correct? Yes. Now, look at the diagram. When the rain was falling vertically downward, the boy was holding his umbrella vertically upward against the velocity of the rain. Yes, but rain is no more vertically downward because of the wind, direction of the rain is changed. It is now in some other direction. So he has to tilt his umbrella against the direction of resultant velocity of the rain. Yes, so he has to hold his umbrella now along this line. As you can see in the diagram, he will tilt the umbrella from vertical by making an angle, theta. Yes. So now we found out the direction in which the rain is falling actually. What we have to find the rest of the part of the solution is to find theta as before. And that part is easy. We know we will refer this triangle and we are going for the tan theta. Yes. So now from the figure we can say tan theta is going to be opposite side by adjacent side. Opposite side of this triangle is going to be Vw. Right. Velocity of the wind. The same side. Yes, and Vr, Vr is the velocity of the rain. We have both the values in this question, we will substitute. 10, Vr is 35, Vw is 10, so we substituted and we got, we are going to find tan inverse, to find the angle theta, tan inverse of 0 0.2857 and that corresponds to an angle 15.9 degree. Okay, so the boy has to tilt his umbrella by making an angle 15.9 degree in what direction the rain was falling right and the wind was from east to west and we found the wind changed its direction accordingly the boy has to tilt his umbrella from vertical towards east by making an angle 15.9 degree okay 